Hi guys and welcome to my channel. If you are playing Elden Ring's Shadow of the Earth Tree and the game is stuttering or you are getting a very low FPS then I have got a list of fixes that you can try. The first thing you should do is you should change the in-game settings. I will show you the best settings for better FPS and performance. So open up the game and go into settings. Press escape and go into system then into the graphics tab. Set the screen mode to full screen. The resolution should be your native monitor's resolution. Set the auto detect best rendering settings to on. Turn off ray tracing. Then in quality settings, set it to medium. Then go into the advanced tab. And then set the texture quality to medium. Anti-aliasing quality to low. Then set SSAO to medium. Then depth of fields, set it to low then motion blur turn it off then shadow quality set it to medium lightning quality set it to medium effects quality let it remain as medium then volumetric quality set it to low then reflection quality leave it to low then water surface quality make it low then shader quality make it low as well then global illumination quality make it, make it low as well and then keep the grass quality to medium so these are the best settings for better fps as well as performance once you are done with this then try checking the game if the game works and if you are getting better performance if the performance is still not improved then i'll show you the other fixes that you can try the next fix you can try is to install the ILSC software ILSC comes from the makers of DDU and it's a very trustable software. What this software does, it does is it clears out the RAM cache or the standby list, memory standby list. So I'll drop the link for this in the video description. Once you have installed the software, open the software. Once you open the software, find it in the tray menu. Then once the software opens up, simply keep the default settings and simply click on start. Each time you launch the game, launch the software and click on start and the memory standby list will be cleared and you will get better performance in the game. The next fix is for laptop users. If you are a laptop user, you need to disable power throttling. To disable the power throttling, all you need to do is click on the battery icon over here and then go into the power mode and then choose the best performance so laptop users do this and you should see improvement in fps as well as performance so once this is done then the next fixes are to disable the game bar and turn on the game mode for this press windows key plus i and go into gaming then over here you have the game bar click on the game bar and choose to turn it off once you have done this then go back into gaming then go into the game mode and then enable game mode do this and then check the performance of the game you should see a considerable improvement if the game is still not performing better then the next fix is to turn on hardware accelerator GPU scheduling and optimizations for windowed games as well as choose high performance GPU for this again press windows key plus i and go into gaming then go into either the game bar or the game mode and once you come over here, you have the graphics, click on graphics, then go over here and then click on browse. Then browse the location of the game. For me, I have installed the game on C, then so go into C, program files into 86, then locate Steam, then go into Steam apps, common, find Elden Ring, then game. Then over here you have the Elden Ring executable. Select it, then click add. Once Elden Ring has been added, click over here, then go into options and choose high performance NVIDIA GPU or whichever GPU you have. Select high performance and click on save. Once this is done, then click on change default graphics settings. Then over here, turn on hardware accelerated GPU scheduling and optimizations for windowed games. Once you do this, you need to reboot your PC once the PC reboots, then check your FPS and see if there is any improvement. If 
the game is still performing bad then the next fix is to adjust the appearance and performance for this in the window search type adjust type adjust the performance and adjust the type adjust the appearance and performance of windowed games so type this open it once you open it then choose adjust for best performance once you choose adjust for best performance most of the windows features will be disabled but i want you to select smooth edges for screen fonts and so windowed content while dragging select these two and the windows performance will still be maintained while most of the things will be disabled and you will get a better performance then simply simply click on apply and okay then if the game is still not performing better then the next thing you need to do is you need to increase the virtual memory for this again go into adjust appearance and performance the same tab that we opened earlier then over here go into advanced then under virtual memory click on change then uncheck automatically manage paging file size for all drives and select and check custom size now the initial size should be 1.5 times your total ram so for me i am using a 16 gb ram so first let's convert 16 gb into mb so for this let's use an online website convert gb to mb so i have 16 gb so this is my mb value so copy this and open your calculator then into 1.5 times so this is the initial value for me copy this value and paste it over here remove the commas then for the maximum size it it should be three times your total ram so we know the ram in mb so copy it again and multiply it by multiply it into by 3 multiply with 3 sorry so this is the maximum value copy it and paste it over here remove the commas then click on set and then click on okay then okay and exit out of it so the next fix is to change the compatibility settings to change the compatibility settings let's locate the game executable for me it's in c program files into 86 steam steam apps common then elenring game then over here i have the game executable right click on the game executable and go into properties then over here go go into the compatibility tab then click on disable full screen optimizations and click on run this program as an administrator next click on change high dpi settings over here click on override high dpi scaling behavior and click on okay apply okay then the next fix is to enable clean boot we perform a clean boot so that we eliminate the possibility of any third party program interfering with the game or consuming too many resources of a pc for the game to give you a poor fps or stuttering and bad performance so let's perform a clean boot to perform a clean boot press windows key plus r and type ms config and hit enter it will bring up the system configuration then go into the services tab over here click on hide all microsoft services and click on disable all then click on apply then the then go into the startup tab then click on open task manager then once you open task manager in the startup apps select and disable each of the task one at a time and once you have done this then close everything and reboot your pc once the pc boots up then check the game how it's performing if it performs well great otherwise we have a custom fps pack that you can install what this pack does is we have accumulated several registry settings 
that can greatly improve the FPS and performance of games. So I suggest that you install the custom FPS pack. I'll show you how to do it. But before you install the custom FPS pack, I suggest that you create a registry backup so that you have a restore point and if you don't like the settings or something goes wrong, you can easily turn back to the time before you made the changes and your registry values and your registry will be the same as it was before you made any changes. So for this, uh, in the Windows search type create a restore point, then open it, then over here you have the option click on create, select your system drive and then click on create then name anything and then click on create then the system will create a restore point once the restore point has been created then you can proceed with installing our custom fps pack in case something goes wrong and you don't like the custom fps pack you want to change your registry back to the default value it was before then all you need to do is again in the windows search type create a restore point come over here and then click on system restore once you click on system restore click on next and over here you have the backup that you created the restore point that you created simply select your restore point and follow the next steps and then select the drive and click on finish and the system will revert back the changes that you made to your registry so once this is done then the next thing you need to do is you need to download our fps pack I will drop a link to our discord where you can go and then you can follow it to our google drive where you can download the custom fps pack. Let me show you how the custom fps pack looks. So once you have downloaded our custom fps pack it will look something like this. Then all you need to do is double click on our on each of the custom fps packs and install them. Do this for all of these files and once this is done then check and I'm sure you will be getting better performance in a game and better FPS. Thank you and if the video helped, please like and subscribe. Have a good day and a good gaming session. Thank you.